Hello and welcome to the No Excuses Ladies Weekly Show. I am Eva Eckert and I am your host. What is No Excuses Ladies Weekly Show all about? It's for all, all of you ladies out there who would like to learn and apply the No Excuses way of life with the foundation of health and wellness so you can succeed in life, move the needle forward with the necessary tools provided by me here. No Excuses Tribe is welcoming all of you ladies out there who are already a badass or for those of you who would like to become a badass. I will be your guide. I will be here to support you, to guide you, to lead you to your full potential. I will teach you the power of self-belief, self-motivation, discipline, and mastermind alliance so you can move the needle forward in your life so you can make no more excuses and create the life you truly desire and deserve by being the best version of you. As you realize, I am not life today. We had some difficulties, so I decided I don't want to miss my show. This is an amazing show I always want to deliver to you, and that's why I decided to record this video. So there is always a way out of the situation. This is a perfect example. So, my ladies, today, I first of all, I wanted to share, to say thank you so much for your time because you weekly show up, you watch this video, you give your time to me, and this is uh, super important for me to share this with you. Thank you. So, thank you for being here. Now, what we talked about last week, I always do a quick recap. We were talking about investing in yourself. So please watch the previous episodes. There is 20 of them out there today, episode 21. And today we're going to be talking about that some people in your life will discourage you. Some people will go against you. Some people will not be the best supporters for you. So I want to dive in today and talk to you about it. And of course, when you watch these videos on YouTube on my channel or you watch this uh, video as a replay, please make your comments. I would love to hear from you. Maybe you have your own specific uh, situation that happened in life and you want to share it. This is all for us to build this community and to become better because I believe that we need to help and support one, one another. And that's what the show is all about. So my ladies friends, today what I wanted to talk to you about again is the is the very important topic of people saying and discouraging you. So <clears throat> it's pretty much to have a no excuses way of life and to scale in your life, to progress. You need to understand that, that some people will discourage you and how you're going to go about it, how you're going to deal with things like this. Like think about the situation that you wanted to do something in your life. Maybe you want to learn something. Maybe you want to open up a business. Maybe you just wanted to start something and you start sharing these ideas with your closest families or friends. And a lot of their um, really response to you was not positive, was more on like a negative way, like they were just doubting you, right? And not only doubt is, is hidden here, we're going to talk about it. So how did this make you feel? What happened in a situation? Like I want you to think for a moment, and I know that we had a lot of moments like this, because life is is not always the, 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 the best moments, even though we can create the best moments, but there are things like this that happen, right? So in order for us to move forward, have the desire that you have in your life, have the something that you want to create and push forward, you need to be prepared for situations like this. And the reason why I'm mentioning is this, because I don't want you to be discouraged in your endeavors. I want you to have a, a, your feet grounded in a way like you feel stable you feel strong, you feel empowered, and no matter what's happening outside of you, you're gonna keep on pushing forward. So in order for us to do that, for you to do that, you need to be build a shield uh, to understand it, B build almost like an armor that will protect you for the, from the outside bad influence, bad environment. And I'm gonna go dive and in deep into it based on my 
situations based on my experiences in my life, what happened. And I'm going to give you a very good example. So you must be aware of those things. And once you're aware of those things, it's going to push and move the needle forward for you, right? So think about like this. And when you share these uh, these uh, situations, when you share these ideas, more I would say, with other people, the reason why people react like this is because of their own opinions. It's because of their own agendas. It's because of their own fears, uncertainty, uh, doubt, uh, apprehension, you know, insecurity, uh, precariousness. Uh, I hope that I'm uh, <clears throat> really uh, um, uh, saying this in the right way that you can understand me. This, uh, there are, those are their feelings. Now, they come from just the internal feels that they have. And I think about it. They might not even know how they will, will not will know what's gonna happen with the project that you're gonna uh, create, or maybe you wanna write a book, or maybe you wanna open up a business. And their instant reaction is, "No, you should not do that," because they're gonna concentrate on telling you the bad things that didn't even happen yet. Uh, they may not necessarily maybe they happen in in their life at some point. They had some bad experience, and that's why they're trying to put it on you so be aware of this and what else is happening is that because they're holding it on to so much the first thing that they can do is just to share with you but what happens like think about what happens in situations like this when people share their own opinions onto something that didn't even happen yet with your life you start doubting yourself because you take over what they said, what they expressed, their emotions, their feelings onto you. So let me ask you a question. If you had a project or something that you wanted to create in your life and people, your closest friends, your family, people that you emotionally attached to, told you, no, what happened to you? Did you move forward with this plan endeavor? Did you move forward with this plan uh, uh, movement or idea? or you stopped. Now listen, if you stopped, it's okay. But I want you to learn this from this mistake, that the, the pain of regret is stronger than, than a failure. The pain of regret is stronger than you trying. And I know that if you didn't move forward, if you stopped because you took all these fears and doubts and, and not feeling good about this into you, I know that did not feel good. I know that you probably went back in your thoughts and you say, why have I done this? So based on this experience, guys, ladies, whoever is watching this video, please do not make the same mistake. To live fully, live openly, uh, with full vibration in life, like live fully, you need to experience your life with the good parts and sometimes the bad parts. It's okay if you fail. This is your life, this is your experience, and at least it's your decision. Otherwise, you giving permission to other people control what you wanna do. Now look, you are not alone with this. Think about this, think about all our life. All the people, the great people in, in, in every century have amazing influencers, people that create amazing things. Like think about all these people that we talked about in so many of our episodes, even Thomas Edison, you know, Albert Einstein. Think about people that made an impact, right? Um, <clears throat> think about them. I want you to decide in your own which person you're gonna be resonating with and, and thinking about. These people had obstacles in their life, but if they ever stopped because someone discouraged them from their, their own experiences, from them trying to build a life or create something, we would not have cars, we would not have planes, we would not have all these amazing lights that are around me, you should see that set up. We should not have, we wouldn't even have these books, these frames, this, this awesome computer that I have in front of me that it's like a half that, it's giant. We would not have this. We would not have gone to the moon and now we want to go to Mars. We would not have this. 
Because people would be so fearful and doubtful in what they wanted to do. So guys, why I do these episodes? I want to encourage you to deeply, deeply connect to yourself. To deeply find out what is the thing that makes you happy. What is the thing that you love to do? What is the thing that you enjoy doing? And do these things on daily basis. Create something that it's within you. I'm not saying that all of us are creators, but I believe, I almost think that actually we are. That every single person was put on the planet to create something special, to give something special. I was put on this planet to give people amazing workouts, to coach them, to create new coaches, to uh, give them the experience and the knowledge that I had. That was one thing. But then over course of months, it has transformed to something that I feel right now. It's the coaching, it's the guidance, it's giving people directions and helping them develop their own self. Because I went through the breakthrough, I went through change, and I believe that life is endless. It's endless change. It's never ending process, right? It's something that we need to learn, develop, absorb, and be uh, really congruent with our mission. And once you're going to get this, whatever you do in life, it's going to become like joy. That's what it is oh, ultimately. I've been loving what I do for many years. I've been a coach, a trainer for many, many years. And this was my field. It was I absolutely, I would embrace every bit of it. I absolutely loved it. And I love till this day. That's why you see me hosting those workout sessions with my freak family. And we've had very successful two training centers in New York that brought seven figures. It was a seven figure business within a year. And I can do the same for you. I can help you. So make sure you're making the comments or contacting me directly. But let's go back to our main, main thing that people will discourage, discourage you. Let me give you an, exa uh, an example so you do not feel alone with this because it happens to me plenty of times. And the list is endless. When we start, let me tell you, when I started creating this list, the list comes and on and on and, and it will never end. And that's what's gonna happen to you. Grab a pen and paper and write it down. The situations when people discouraged you. I want you to really do that list. When I wanted to come to US, I was discouraged by friends and later on in a family very quickly because I did not share too much with them because I knew it that they might discourage me. And that's gonna be my next point of this video. So stick with it, stay tuned and watch till the end. When I wanted to come, people were saying, you're not gonna make it. Where are you going to United States? When we, were wanted, to op when we wanted to open up Peak Physique, the rent was so expensive. Expensive. Uh, you know, we were going bold, we were going big, we were making that big jump. When I wanted to teach my own kids my own language, I, I heard this so many times. You cannot teach your kids two languages at the same time. They're going to be confused. Let me tell you, your kids can learn multi-languages at the same time. You can teach them four, five, six languages at the same time. They're not going to be confused. To that day, they're not confused. They speak two languages. I taught them, me, myself, I taught them Polish and English. English is the primary language, but they are fully fluent in second language, in, in Polish. So I encourage you, you bilingual, start speaking to your kids. Don't let other people put their own thoughts and their fears into their head. Not, uh, not doing the network marketing. I was told, uh, network marketing? You're not going to make any money. I was told not to sell Herbalife. Well, it brought a lot of revenue, I tell you that. It brought so much revenue in a year that some people never made in their full year off of work. So network marketing, it's when you think about it, it's everything around us. You work for someone, you build their company. It's the same thing like network marketing. The only difference in between those two is when you work for someone, you cap your earnings. When you work for yourself, when you work for network marketing, it's up to you how much you make. What you put in, you're going to get it. So it's not something for nothing. That's the difference. And you know who's going to tell you this? Or people that don't believe in network marketing, those people that will not pursue their dreams, are those who doubt 
those who do not believe and those who believe they receive success so my friends don't doubt obviously to pursue a network marketing you need to be fully engaged and you need to understand you love it you love the products you love something about the company you know moving to us it was it was really cons moving to us moving to california we were in the us moving from new york to california we were told too that we started from the beginning you know and we did that and and people were doubting us people were saying you should not do it driving across the united states with our kids where are you guys going for seven days with the kids what is your plan they are little kids so all these things people say immediately no or they try to discourage you you know we did a crazy hike that took 15 that, that well it took like 15 hours we started so early we started at 5 a.m we went all the way to 8 30 p.m the hardest hike in the california uh, it was 15.6 miles over 6,000 elevation with our kids. Seven-year-old Ivanka and nine-year-old Tyson. And people will tell me, talk, no, what are you crazy? Where are you going? We, you know, we all have fears. We all have doubts. We all have things. But how are we going to go about them? This is important. So think about all these situations again. What did you do? Did you go forward or you stopped? Think about the situations that you stopped and you regret right now. Think about the situations that most of the time when you think about it, when somebody stopped you, you regret at some point. I wish I would have, have, have done this better. And this is what I get all the time when I speak to people about their workouts. I wish I would have started my program earlier. I wish, I wish, I wish. Don't wish. Wish is not going to change your life. It's doing. It's, it's, it's being so focused on what you want. This is your life. This is your experience, however you want it today. And I, and I do this, guys, to inspire you, to shake you up a little bit and tell you, you have the power to change your life. You have the power to do something amazing. And uh, I feel, feel this because I've, I've changed my life in so many times, 360, from moving one country to another, from moving one end of the country to another, building new relationships relationships, building new businesses. I've done it. And it's, you know what? And the way how I experience life is truly amazing because it brings all the time new experiences, brings new people, brings new learning experiences. I have to learn so many things. And I tell you, your life then will become so full of colors. When you let this go into your life, and absorb it and say you know to someone i appreciate your feedback i value what you say but i'm still gonna do how i want to or just keep it quiet don't even turn on your ears to listen a lot of times if you know that somebody is totally discouraging or somebody is um, influencing you in a way that is not positive i would say skip even uh, even sharing this stuff with them sometimes you want it so bad but learn from the experience if this person it's never like wow yes yes do it i will support you what do you need do you need me to help you with something you know the answer and as hard as it is say, to say for me i've had this in my life in my family sometimes with my mom she wouldn't be very supportive she wouldn't be very encouraging she would be in a different way but i'm i'm, I'm telling you 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 most likely probably experiences with a lot of people in your life but some more than others so take this to consideration like you know as loving as 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 caring my family is like my grandparents right they, they, they gave me everything and I'm fully grateful for everything what they taught me, but they live in fear, but they also older. So take this to consideration that a person that is 90 years old or 80 years old, it's not going to understand someone that it's maybe 40 or 50 or even younger, someone that has crazy ideas and open, uh, open their mind and their hearts to the world because they've, they've been living their life. And they experience maybe too much of the bad, not the good. Or maybe um, they were stuck in so many times in their life. So they're going to be living with their own experiences and giving their own experiences to you. 
So you need to consider this. And if your friend who is similar age to you and it's not supporting you, I want you to look at their life. I want you to see what they have achieved, how their family reacts, how they are to their children. Be really 360 spectrum, have an open mind to this, what you see. Because if this, this, this person brings something from their life to yours, and you can love your friends, but don't take their advice for your business if they are not really encouraging you. And, you know, I don't want you to stop with all of this because when you stop, I'm telling you, you're going to regret it. So think about it. To live with the no excuses way, with the, uh, with the vibrant way, with the amazing life, you need to tell to yourself, whatever my heart desire, and I'm so obsessed about it, I will do it no matter if somebody criticized me, tell me no, discouraged me, I will still do it because it's better to, to fail on my own and experience the failure than having somebody else dictating me what to do and how I should do it, guys. That's the full ultimate freedom, what we can do here. And I encourage you all to do this because you, every single one of you have been put on the planet to do something unique, special. So remember, you are unique, you are amazing. So go out there, make the difference, feel inspired, watch my shows, come here weekly, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and and connect with me and of course look if you are a person who needs guidance in their mind body and business contact me sometimes people just do mind and body sometimes just do the mind sometimes they will do three sometimes people just want the workouts there is variety of things that i can do but the one one on one coaching mind body and business operate to dominate is to scale your life so i can tell you directly Hey, listen, this is not how it should be done. I will be very open and, and transparent with you because this is how I take my life. And I don't want, you know, go a bush around it and hide and not say how it is. I face the fears every single day. I face them and I charge forward and I want you to do the same. So please share this video, make your comments. I would love to hear from you. And again, Go into that site that I'm going to provide below. Fill out your application if you need a one-on-one -on -one coach because everyone needs a coach. Everyone needs a coach. Imagine those weekly calls that we can do, that, that daily homework that you do to scale your life. It's going to change your life 360. I am looking forward to connect with you. And remember, this is all about you. This show is for you. This show is about you. So let's connect and let's make the difference today. No excuses. Thank you for watching and participating.